Once again, I'm going to go to an empty queue, right click, say create a new 3D animation, which will bring Beyond 3D right back up, right where we started from. And if we want to, we can continue to work on this scene, or in my case, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more. Come over here to say File New, which just creates a brand new workspace for us. Just And these other projects, they're still there. We can access them at any time. But I'm just going to go to this new workspace, click on Laser Output, so that whatever I do, you'll be seen on the laser output. So I'll show you a little bit more about the laser interpretation of a 3D model. And, and I'll do that with this teapot. When you just click on this, it plops a 3D teapot right into the scene from which I can click on laser and just to show you what all these things really mean. And the teapot, it's got enough things going on about it that I can really show you what the different things do. So if you uncheck everything, you don't get any laser light at all. If we check silhouette, what happens is we only get kind of the outline of the object. We don't really get any of the details of the object. That could be pretty handy for uh, creating an object that you just want to see the outline of. It doesn't really take very many points on the laser. And so that's a good one to reduce points, but still get kind of the essence of the object. This next one, Silhouette plus Folds, anything that requires lines that, that represent what's kind of starting to go behind the object, that's what folds are. You see that it'll start to pick up the top of this handle here because this requires you to draw a line because there's a part of the handle that's behind it. What intersections with itself are one of the things that we'll notice about this teapot, I'll move this up a little bit, make it a little bit more visible, is that it's got the spout which intersects the main body part. But up there on the laser, we really can't see that. If I say self intersections, now all of a sudden we see the line, kind of the weld line of where the spout was welded onto the main part of the body of the teapot. In most cases, you don't use self-intersecting lines because in most cases with laser, the whole point is to create just the essence, to give people the essence of what the object is and not all the little details. The details will take up a lot of points on the laser potentially and therefore usually want to minimize that. Intersections slash others, what that means is if we put another object into the scene like, like this cube here, and I'll make the cube red just so we can see it a little bit easier. If I tell the teapot that I want intersections with others, you'll see the intersection now. As the teapot intersects the cube, you see a line that's created there. If I turn off those intersection lines, you'll see that the teapot just kind of disappears into the cube. So that's what intersections is. Material change, we'll cover that in an advanced topic. Object edges, we've already discussed that. That's where all of the lines that you see here in the user interface get sent out to the laser. In the teapot, you really can't control exactly how simple or complex this is. But we certainly can control that in a sphere. What I'll do is momentarily turn this teapot off, add a sphere to the scene. And what you can see is when I turn object edges on the sphere, that's what we get. And we can control the complexity of that. Most objects you can control the complexity of. The teapot's kind of a special case. So we'll turn this back on just so I can illustrate the other laser related properties. All polygon lines is, is where see, the actual mathematical representation of every object is made up of triangles. And so when you say all polygon lines, you'll actually see every single triangle that makes up the teapot. All polygon lines is used 
very, very rarely. Creases, the cone would probably be a better one to illustrate creases. So here in the cone, what we have is the silhouette of the cone, which gives us the outline, and creases the cone has a crease, it's, it's a hard edge around it right there. So that's what creases will give you. I could illustrate that with the cube as well. Come up here to the cube and turn creases off. And you'll see now we only have the outline of the cube. Sometimes that's handy. If you're trying to conserve points, not use too many points, you can get away with that and just have the outline. But in many cases, you do have to have the creases as well just to give that feeling that it's solid. Contour lines, we've already seen that. That means it will draw some number of lines to create a 3D appearance. Contours works on any object. We can turn contours on on the cube as well. And in contours, we get to control the axis about which the contours are created. Here we're creating contours about the y-axis. Remember, y is up and down. We can also create contour lines sideways like that or sideways like this. So it's just another way of making the object appear to be solid, a very effective way. These other options here we'll cover in the advanced topic. Now with respect to laser, there's another thing that's very important that we will cover, and that has to do with this point spacing. So what I'll do is go ahead and add contour lines to this cone. Eh, maybe object edges. And on the cone, Add some height segments to that. The whole point is to get this to flicker a little bit. What we can do over here is say that we want a custom point spacing. And what we could say is that by default, you can see how strong that point is at the top. We could say, well, you know, we really don't want that strong of corner points. We can turn down the corner points here. Make it a little bit less bright on the corner up there. We can completely eliminate corner points here. <clears throat> and we can make the point density a lot higher, which makes it flicker less because it's putting fewer points in the straight lines. So this is a way that you can control kind of the trade-off between exactly how round things are and how much flicker something can have by controlling the point spacing. This gives you the ability to do that.